10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition, lift off, simplify, aim high, go Falcon, go Dragon. Vehicle is pitching down range. T plus 30 seconds, Falcon 9 with the Crew Dragon capsule is heading east from pad 39A. Everything looking good right now. As we get ready for max dynamic pressure, we are now throttling down the first stage engines on Falcon, Falcon power 9. And telemetry nominal. Everything continues to look good. We're approaching the period of maximum dynamic pressure. Vehicle is supersonic and passing through maximum dynamic pressure. You've heard we're supersonic, we're through max Q. We're getting ready now to throttle the engines back up on the first stage. Stage one, throttle up. There's the call out. Okay, the major activity coming up in just over 10 seconds. Shut down and drag an escape from the Falcon 9. Miko, Dragon launch escape initiated. Dragon's away. And you can hear some really loud uh, cheering in the room. Okay, you just saw a bright flash there. It looks like Falcon that may be Falcon 9 breaking up. We've got some loud cheers um, here in Hawthorne. The, the folks that just watched live the Dragon separate. The next milestone we have coming up at two minutes, 25 seconds, um, we're expecting to see the trunk jettison. So that claw that connects the trunk to the capsule is going to separate, allowing Dragon to uh, separate from the trunk. That's coming up in 15 seconds. And we do have the report, loss of telemetry from Falcon 9, first stage. And there you just saw the trunk jettison again. Some really loud cheers here in Hawthorne, California. This test is looking great so far. Nice view from the back of the Dragon capsule. We're also trying to see if we get the view there on the right-hand side from the aircraft that's orbiting the area. Now the Dragon control system is now going to be reorienting the capsule. We're at a high altitude where the aerodynamics are negligible. So we're going to use the small Draco thrusters on the Dragon capsule to reorient it, that gets it in a position with a heat shield down to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere, and then later to deploy the drogue parachutes. Now those drogue chutes, we expect to uh, get confirmation that those have deployed at T plus four minutes and 48 seconds, so we've got just a little bit of breathing room before we hear that happen. Those parachutes are protected during ascent, on orbit, and re-entry by a panel that's up near the nose cone of the capsule. So we're gonna jettison the panel, then the mortars will fire to deploy those two drogue chutes. Again, that's coming up in just over a minute at T plus four minutes and 48 seconds. Now, the parachutes are located behind a door that's at the bottom of the capsule, it's below the crew hatch. So Dragon commands the door to release, and as you saw in the video, the drug parachutes pull the door away, and that pulls the four main parachutes out. Now these are the new Mark III parachutes. We've completed here at SpaceX over 80 tests of that parachute system, including 10 multi-parachute tests of this particular upgraded parachute design over the last few months to demonstrate that the design is ready for flight. And we are about, we're just inside two minutes of when we expect to see a splashdown. The recovery teams are already out there in the Atlantic Ocean standing by, uh, ready with fast bo boats to begin their initial approach to Dragon. Again, we mentioned this before, uh, but the recovery operation, we expect to take a couple of hours. I've heard a call out, we're below 500 meters. 
and we expect when Dragon splashes down, it's going to be roughly 32 kilometers offshore. Again, we're looking at a live view. So far, uh, all things have appeared to go nominal for this test. All things looking great so far. We saw the four main parachutes deploy. You're looking at them now, uh, fully open. And we are coming up on about a minute until splashdown. I think we may have heard a call out of 100 meters to go. Yeah, I just heard that too. Yeah. Now those four parachutes are actually going to be released from the capsule after splashdown and they'll be recovered too. And we are down. Down a little bit early in fact. And there you can see the recovery boat beginning to approach instantly. I'm going to try to talk a little bit louder so you can hear me over the folks here. Uh, this has been a really exciting thing to see because uh, we had the weather we weren't really sure if the weather was going to cooperate. Um, we were trying to weigh, you know, is it favorable for launch, but 